Hi, my name is Diego Alfonso and welcome to Avoiding the Loss of Directional Control on Landings. Please note that I have coined a new acronym, like we need another one. It's LODCOL, L-O-D-C-O-L, which stands for, you guessed it, Loss of Directional Control on Landings. This acronym will be used from now on, so every time I say LODCOL, you know what I'm referring to. Please. Bear in mind that this video is not addressing the complete solo training process, just the deficient area, which it has manifested itself as a load call. This has been happening to experienced pilots, including CFIs, and an alarming number of student pilots on their first, second, and third solo. Hence, the nature of this video. This material, that you're about to watch not only identifies the actual causes responsible for log call, it also shows you how to avoid them. It will make the student pilot and the flight instructor aware of certain training issues that must be considered before, during, and after the first solo. This awareness will help you and your CFI to prevent or eliminate this ongoing flight training situation. Although the emphasis is placed on the pre-solo phase of flight training, the contents of the video are very helpful to all certificated pilots and flight instructor when it comes to landing an airplane. Remember that we hold a perfect record in aviation. We haven't left one up there yet. They always have to come down. This video is not trying to tell any pilot how to land an airplane, nor any CFI how to prepare their students for their solo flights. All I'm doing here is sharing my experiences of how I did help certify pilots with landing problems and how my students were initially taught approaching landings in preparation for their first solo. These methods did work for me as a CFI and continue to work for me as a pilot. You may try my suggestions and judge them for yourself. If you like the results, by all means, use them. But wait, there is a catch. There are four parts to this video. Please note that in order to obtain the most benefit, you should watch them complete and in order since they follow a logical sequence. Before continuing, I'd like to send a message to all the CFIs. Please note that I feel a tremendous respect for all CFIs. I think that the student pilot and you, the CFI, are the most important links in the aviation industry chain. Because of that, you have a huge responsibility in the proper training of student pilots. Yes? I'm going to exercise some tough love in all my instructional videos. Take it for what it is, though. I'm just trying to help you. I've been at the game for some time now, which incidentally does not mean that I'm always correct. I'm just trying to say that you may benefit from my shared experiences. The goal of this video is as follows. Prevention of landing incidents or accidents that will control or eliminate injuries, fatalities, and destruction of property. Also, no student accident history. A good record for a CFI that leads to a good reputation, not only for the CFI, but for the fly schools or FBOs as well. Also, it will alleviate the workload for the FAA, FISDOs, and inspectors with less incidents and accidents to investigate. And last but not least, it keeps the student pilot during the solo phase physically healthy and emotionally fit. In most cases, even if after a bad experience at the solo level, the student pilot continues flying, the psychological recovery from those memories is almost impossible. You have to agree that this is a win-win situation. While you are watching this video though, please keep in mind my motto, 
which is, show me a pilot that can't answer a correlative question or can't perform a procedure or maneuver, and I'll show you a pilot with little knowledge to understand what he or she is trying to accomplish. You can take this one to the bank.